Yeah, like, right. They just get sharp. And uh, that is, it's like a stew. You're cooking. The master is, the ma when I say the master, I'm not referring to the person. And I'm not referring to the body. I'm talking about the master, the master of all, when I'm referring to it. And it's like the master is having a pot and making a stew. And in this stew, maybe they put the lamb in there and they start cooking the lamb. And it's slowly, if anyone's been cook, cooking food and cooking, you, you, you know that most food, you cook them slowly and you cook them a long time but it's got the timing and then you add the different ingredients to this like okay you're cooking there's lamb in it and you put some onions in there and some garlic and you fried it first and then you're slowly cooking it and then in this cooking then you're adding the herbs and you're adding the herbs because you want to absorb the herbs in the juice and then as you're going step by step you're coming to this other part that you're adding the potatoes and the carrots and the other vegetables but then you're not going to put those things ahead of time as you put the meat in there you're not adding those things because they will be smashed and they will be overcooked so stage by stage you're adding things to it and that's the master is preparing us it's like cooking us slowly slowly through different stages so it comes to the final stage that is ready to be served. And in this cooking, sometimes you may experience like they put you on a grill and they turn up the heat and they're really burning you. And that's because they want the fat to melt. And that's when we're going through major stuff in our lives and we've got all this shaking going on because we lost someone we love or somebody broke up with us or I went through a major crash and I lost everything, whatever, and I'm cooking, cooking inside. We all have gone through that. It's impossible for you to arrive at this point without going to a period or periods that you've been on the grill and you've been cooked and we come to this spiritual maturity as you have come to and a lot of you here have come to that spiritual maturity of recognizing recognition of the importance of the moment of understanding that this is it and it's here and now and that has tremendous importance of recognizing that to even coming to that point of recognizing that it's in front of you right now and the gateway has opened up and not postponing it to another time is like this is it i need to jump through this right now you know, right now, not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, right now. And you have come to that. Yeah. And all of you that are here have come to that. So, and that's impossible to really uh, explain it to anybody who hasn't come to this level I mean, you may be, somebody may be here 30 years old, somebody here may be 85 years old or whatever, but you, whether it was your past life, lives prepared you to get to this point, but you've been systematically being walked by the master to get to where you're at. So your spiritual ears opened up, your spiritual heart opened up, your spiritual eyes opened up, where the rest of the population may hear the same things I'm saying, but they don't really hear it. 
They may look at the same object, but they don't see it. They may be in contact with the same energy, but their heart's not open to receive the message. And that by itself, getting to this point for all of you, being together here and now, and I see your dedication, this is the eighth day, eight days in a row, you have showed up and you're here. That's to me shows the dedication and the maturity. So now recognizing that is this is the time, this is the opportunity to take advantage of it. That now, right now, is where the gates to heaven have opened up and you have to act on it. So, congratulations. I'm very happy you're with us, my dear sister. We're going to have an incredible journey together. And I am dedicated to do my best, to give you my best. Yeah, 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 beautiful. So, speaking about who am I? Who am I? Through the grace of my teacher, Papaji, I investigated and I realized that I'm not my name. I am not my last name, my family name. I am not my nationality. I am not the religion that was forced upon me. And I was, they were trying to brainwash me to buy into it. And as you go deeper, you start to, as you're investigating, you're honestly investigating and you're trying to really be candid in it, being really truthful with yourself and you're digging in, you're digging in and you start to see, okay, I can change my first name, I can change my last name, I can take another nationality. I can dive into a different culture. I can change the religion. Even today, I can even change my body to another sex. The technology gives you that option to do it. And then you just start looking, am I really my thoughts? And if I'm my thoughts, why can I see them? How come I can see them from the outside? How come I can be aware of them? So even that is a doubt and you don't really take it seriously. Am I really my ever-changing emotions? If I'm really my emotions, then how come I can observe them that they come and go? If something comes and goes, how real is it? Am I my ever-changing body, this body that is constantly changing, transforming, or decaying? And upon closer investigation, you get closer to the truth of who you are. You begin to see. If you're really like focused, you're really dedicated, you really want the truth, and your desire is that, of course, the Grand, Her Majesty, the Supreme, you take one step and the Supreme takes 100 steps, 99 steps towards that direction because now you're starting to show interest 